Trip got fucking cancelled. I don't even know what the fuck to say, dude. So much fucking crazy stuff happening. It's all happening so fast. The airport was supposed to be closed on the 24th. I mean the 23rd. And my ticket was scheduled for the 24th. And so I had to like call the airline, stay on hold for like seven hours or something at like 6, 5 a.m. Got the reschedule for the, for the day after, like instead of the 24th, I was calling on the 20th and I got it or the 21st and I got it rescheduled for 22nd, like, like the day after. Like I was 5 a.m. when I was talking on the phone and I got it rescheduled for noon the day after. And I hadn't like really prepared. And so while I'm preparing and doing stuff, my host in Haida Gwaii calls me and talks about like the stuff happening on the island, these natives being scared of people, being sick and infecting stuff. The entire island has only two uh, ICU beds, like critical care units or whatever, and so people are scared. Oh, so much fear going on with this stupid fucking shit. Uh, with the trip thing, it's perfect. Like, I, I'm just riding the flow. This thing is fine. It's, it's cool that life has its own thing. It doesn't just go wherever we take it. Otherwise, like, it would be stupid. I just go, I just go to the island. Okay, it worked out. And then I just come back, everything works out. Then I just do something, everything works out the way I think it does. That would be like fucking... That's not, that's not a cool game. But part of this, uh, it's intense. I would have been more mad if it happened in a worse way. But I also kind of was unsure about it in the, in, as soon as this thing started getting weird and the airlines and stuff. So that helped. But yeah, I had to cancel it like last, last second. Literally the night of. We were figuring it out yesterday at night. Uh, talking to Marilyn, my host, and us coming to the final decision that I canceled the, the, the ticket, the booking. Uh, I'm just walking around right now. And, uh, maybe I could... Can I switch? This phone, I thought I could switch the camera and then show you guys around record this place this is where i like to smoke in this place maybe i can just turn the phone around i don't know if you can see anything i don't know what you're seeing there's like some cool ass shit there's like nobody outside it's sunday morning it's probably nobody going to church or whatever because they're scared of viruses. <laughs> Dude, there's literally 200 people in my entire state that have this fucking virus. Do you know what that means? There's millions of people in the whole thing. 200? There's like 200 people with no arms in my state. How many people have I seen? Not one. There's 200 people with no legs in my state. How many have I seen? Not one. There's 200 people that are above 110 years old in my state. How many have I seen? Not one. There's 10 people that died from this whole thing. In the whole thing, like in my whole state for the last fucking few months. You know 10 people died, what it means? 10 people died from birds looking at them weird. 10 people died from falling on their heads and, and, and hitting themselves wrong. 10 people died from coconuts falling on their heads. 10 people died from slipping in bathrooms. It's like literally like 10 people slip in bathtubs and then the entire city wants to like riot against taking showers and we close down banks gyms workplaces to force people to not take showers because coming to workplaces like makes you have to shower or i don't know it's like the idea is this, it's like so overblown you know this reaction to this thing is so not what it demands and 
if the thing was just if this thing was actually serious like what the fuck would we be doing if there wasn't just 200 people that had this shit and 10 people died if there was like you know thousands of people dying in my state if there were like thousands of people that have it not 200 months into the fucking breakout this isn't like day one 200 people have it this is like deep into this shit you know so i don't know yeah i'm just like walking around saying some shit i don't even know what i'm saying oh but it's cool man morning uh, it's cool that life is a surprise it's cool that life is uncertain and uh, scary challenging <laughs> what would we do if it wasn't this scary and this challenging what a piece of fucking shit it would be People don't get it. They don't realize. They're like, oh, dude, if only it wasn't scary. If only life was literally easy. People kind of want that. Even when you when people watch play games, they're like, dude, if only I could just beat it every time. But nobody plays like games made for five-year-olds that they could beat every single time. Because even though we used to like these games when we we're five years old, we don't play shit that we just win. No one sits and trains in a, in a... Do you see anyone do something that is just guaranteed every single time? Like someone sits and shoots basketballs like into the ring, just like this. No one does that. Or like someone just shoots, kicks like soccer balls, like directly into goals, like from three meters away over and over for like thousands of times. Like people don't do that because it's it's guaranteed. And, and that's not interesting. There's nothing about that, that that gives you anything. There's nothing about it that is gives anyone anything. It's like, you know, and so novelty, things being interesting, is the name of the game. God isn't, uh, the, the un this thing isn't some stupid thing. It's not some like, oh, uh, it's, it's like, why is it like this? It's not about us figuring out why it's stupid and how we can fix it. It's about us figuring out why we don't see it as perfect and fixing that it's like instead of thinking the game sucks and we just give up or i don't know what we do it's realizing the game is absolutely couldn't be better and we just have to learn how to play it people think when you say the world is perfect that you just afk you don't play the game that's it and the world is perfect there's no reason to do anything it's over no the world is a video game. The world is a thing we engage in. That's why we're alive. We're doing it together. We decide what it becomes. It's like we're all playing a WoW together, World of Warcraft or something. But like life, we are playing life together. And uh, we do whatever we want. And we feel like we're so stuck in what things are. But we are so fucking powerful, man. Like a person, like do you see what we're doing just because uh, we're like a little bit scared? We're so powerful. If we want to make a change, if this coronavirus wasn't some coronavirus and it was like love, it was like a person coming out and saying something, playing a song, generating a wave of positivity, of love, of hope, of inspiration, of motivation, of meaning, of purpose, of positive urgency, something, uh, you would get equal amount of change. You, we would have a fucking thing that happens. This isn't just a, you know, this could go both ways. This media thing, this people changing thing. We are really powerful and we all want things to be better. Do you, do you know why people, everybody's reacting to this coronavirus thing? Because everyone wants to be safe. There's no one walking around that wants to be hurt and sad and fucked up. You know, even the people that are like doing, oh, I'm going to lick the toilet challenge. You know why people lick the toilet challenge? It's not because they want to fucking die. They do the toilet challenge because they want people to like them. 
They want people to say, oh, dude, you're so crazy. Oh my God, 10 million people following you, articles about you, stuff, attention. Someone notices, cares, anything, please. Instead of just leaving you in the corner by yourself where you don't do fucking anything. That's what people need. We just need attention, love, recognition, opportunity. That's all. There's not some fucking magic to this shit. It's fucking way easier than we realize. And that's why there's so much fucking hope. Even when it's this fucking crazy and shit. It literally couldn't be better. And we're all coming, kind of realizing it faster than we even know it. This place is so calm right now. People could realize how motherfucking crazy this shit is gonna be, dude. This is gonna be way better than any movie we've ever seen, any play we've ever written, any song we've ever heard, any game we've ever played, any idea, a prediction of what it was. This is going to transcend all of it. If you've ever been super excited to watch the finality of a series or meet someone for a date that you haven't met before and do something with them that is like new and exciting and novel if you get excited to fight the final boss in a game or something like that last episode of game of thrones the final scene of a cool movie whatever if you're someone if you're alive and you feel and you are here better be fucking ready this is gonna be way better than you could we could ever imagine because we're making it up as we go it's not like it's fixed and we're and we either are able to imagine it and that's it or we don't it hasn't been decided what it's gonna look like we are making it as we go we are partners of creation, every single one of us. Just like I am doing something with making this video and you're doing something with anything, everybody's doing something. We're, we're deciding what this thing looks like. We're deciding what this becomes. Yeah, 